I'm gonna try them together. I was gonna say I can't. I didn't, couldn't figure out if they dip them together or what. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click back. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha and we are back with another muck. Oh, um, mukbang video. Yeah, yeah mukbang video. Yeah, that's what, what we about to do, man. Right now, we are on our way to McDonald's, you guys. We are going to try this new BTS meal. Mm -hmm. And this, you said it's a South Korean boy band. I don't know if South Korean, so you must have looked it up. Yes. Because I said Korean, so she obviously did her research. I did my research, yeah. too. Uh -huh. so, it's, so this is a collab between a South Korean boy band called BTS and McDonald's, you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we gonna try it out. It came out a few days ago, so we are not that late. We normally are late as hell. Yeah, exactly. We normally Hopefully, about a month late. Right. <laughs> Hopefully our McDonald's has it though, because I feel McDonald's like we always get shit late. They have it? Nah, I feel like our McDonald's has everything. Okay. So, right. uh, we're about to go find out. Let's get it. So y'all gonna roll with us, and then I'm gonna have Stephanie do that thing that I like okay. to be, how we show them. Or that oh, 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 that. What you know what I was talking about? Oh, I mean, you said that thing you like it? Oh, babe, why? Why every video? It never <laughs> fails. You always gotta say something. Why you can't? You know that's our real life. That's how I am in real life. Yeah, she is. She is. Oh, <laughs> uh, we also probably gonna do. I'm, I got a couple of viewer topics. Y'all. I ain't gonna say how many we gonna do because we never do the amount I say. Okay. So, at least one. Okay. Uh, I'll say that because I know we. I mean, the meal is not very big, so it's not gonna take us long to eat it. Yeah. And also, we still on our diet, so I'm probably not even gonna eat the whole thing. Okay? I probably will. All right, y'all. We are here at Mickey D's. They don't have no kind of advertisements for the BTS view. They don't. I don't understand why they. I was looking on their website too, and they, there was nothing on there. I, like, if you guys are doing a collab, that means you're supposed to be promoting this shit, right? right? Did you? But did you see the menu? Was it? On, oh, it was it, it wasn't on the menu. Right. If you're gonna do a collab, you should be promoting. Oh, please. Here's the BTS meal, y'all. Can I have two BTS meals, please? And oh yeah, and that's it. What kind of um, sausage drink? Uh, the the sweet chili and Cajun for both, and the Coke, Cokes. Yes, thank you. All right, you too. Isn't the whole point of the, getting the BTS yes. meal getting what it comes with? Yeah. <laughs> what? All right, the BTS meal. Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, y'all, next time you see us, we'll be at a table about to eat this BTS meal. Yes, sir. Shit, we back, y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got. Yeah, we didn't have to know. You thought we was going to intro. We already again. did an intro, nah. yeah. So here we are, y'all. We got our BTS meals. They are hot and fresh. Mm -hmm. we ready to go. Yep. So the BTS meal is 10 chicken nuggets, medium fry, medium Coke, and a new Cajun sauce and sweet chili sauce. Right. So, right. so I mean, the only real difference is the sauces. Yeah, we everybody has tried McDonald's fries and nuggets before. Yeah. All right. So um, yeah, have you tried it? I feel like they didn't have sweet chili before. It. No. I don't think. I mean, oh. I've never tried it. Mm -mm. I don't know about McDonald's sauces like that, you guys. So, I only new sauce that I've seen is the um, mighty sauce that came with the hot nuggets. Oh, you can't. You, you need some help. Yeah. These nails getting on my nerves, y'all. I don't know how long I'm gonna have you know, these nails, especially this length. I don't have time. Oh, it's a little bit too. So long I have too much you. to do, you know, and it's making me take longer to do everything. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. How about wiping your butt? <laughs> That's been going fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So y'all see the Cajun is like I don't know what the base is, but it looks like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Look kind of like Chick Fil A sauce. That's true. Actually, All right, I'm dipping. I'm gonna start with the sweet chili. Oh, it says Dijon mustard. Oh. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Good. Okay. It is good. The sweet chili sauce is good. Mhm. Mm I didn't think I was gonna like it. I thought it was gonna be similar to Red Hot, but it actually has a um. I watch. I want to. I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. Quan. Oh, yeah. Quan Tran. I watched Quan Tran and he said it tastes like gochujang kind of in this. So maybe that's the flavor. Mm. I know I've had it before, but I can't remember the actual flavor of it. I really like that sweet chili sauce. Ooh. Ooh. 
Tastes like you don't like that one. The Cajun tastes like Dijon, you know, horseradish. Oh, I probably like this one too then. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Ah. Mm hmm. I don't hate it, but I don't mm -hmm. like it. We also have cokes, but we're not drinking them. We just got them for show. That sauce is good. I like both of these sauces. I'm gonna try them together. I was gonna say I can't. I didn't, couldn't figure out if they dip them together or what. You looked right. Yeah. And like, they just no ate one. it regular. Yeah. Quan uh, dipped both at the same time. I think, from what I remember. I'm liking this, y'all. Mm. Mm hmm. It's cool. I mean, so they're a Korean boy band, right? BTS. Mm hmm. Okay. And they just love McDonald's, or this is just their thing to get? I don't know. Everybody is doing. I mean, McDonald's is collabing with a lot of artists, I guess, to get. I guess to get people to try it. I'm sure a lot of TikTokers are probably doing all the time. Like, now we're probably making. They needed some money for the pandemic, so they were like, "All right, let's pay for real. Let's pay some um people to some artists to collab with us." And I think it's a great idea. Yeah, it is. Well, McDonald's, we're willing to collab with you. Y'all can call it the Steph and Tasha Mill. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you don't even have to pay us. What you can do is just promote us. Right. Boom. And we'll we'll go with that. Okay. But make sure you get the stuff fresh, y'all. Yes. Because I'll be like, that's making this even better for me. One thing about McDonald's nuggets is that if they're not fresh, they're not good. They're not good <laughs> at all. Same thing for the fries to me. Yeah. Remember we did a 50 or 100 nugget. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I won. Me and Stephanie were competing against each other, I think, and whoever else was doing it on YouTube. Uh, oh, she couldn't get past. I think I did seven. <laughs> yeah. She couldn't get past, I think, oh, the God. first seven nuggets. <laughs> I think I ate like 15, mm. maybe. Yeah, I did bad on that. Yeah, because uh, they get hard after a while and mm -hmm. not good. They but it just tastes like old grease mm -hmm. to me. But if you put them in the air fryer, yeah. they soften back up. Lovely. I tried it. Yeah, so this is a pretty good meal. Yeah, I think it's a really good meal. I, I give both sauces a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll give it a thumbs up too because I keep eating it. Mm -hmm. It's an addicting taste to me. Mm -hmm. I don't want it, but... But I do. So I'm eating it. I almost drank that coke. Let's see if you can do the best crunch. Well, I'm not doing it yet. Oh, okay. I was about to say because that wasn't it. <laughs> I'll do the best crunch. Oh, my next one we going to do, y'all. Let me find the crunchiest one. Ooh, that one look good. Oh, touch. <laughs> Let me try this one. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Me first? Yeah. Okay, can you bring the mic down? Yep. That's not even a crunch anymore. Now it's like, what? Right. Let me finish, let me finish. I'm going to let you finish. I did my best. Hey, these aren't that crunchy, y'all. Watch this. I don't know why I have to do my good. face like Started that. Off good. <laughs> Let me finish it. Let me do this one. This just ain't crunchy. Yeah. You know? They aren't that crunchy. Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all. I'm about to get into the first viewer topic. Okay, cool. It's not a prank, is it? <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't smile. Don't smile. It's not a prank. That last prank, you ain't supposed to be drinking that. I had to do I had to do one sip, y'all. McDonald's has my favorite Coke all right. out of all the fast food places. There's been times where I just wanted to go there and get a Coke. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. <sighs> Probably yeah. Alright, let's get into this viewer topic. Alright. Non prank. You want me to read it? Can you have me a napkin, please? I need some advice. I am a 14-year-old girl who lives with my mom. My mother is a single parent who works five days a week. 
my dad is in my life, but not. But at the same time, he's not. Mm -hmm. He doesn't live with me. And I don't know why she's not making him pay child support, but that is besides the point. When I was younger, he would lie to me a lot, telling me he would take me places, but he never did. As I got older, I realized he was a liar. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, my mom is still in love with him, even though he has cheated multiple times. Mm -hmm. One time, she even caught him cheating. Ooh, when I was around seven, the police came to our house because they were arguing. For the past year now, I have started to not care about him anymore. I think my mom loves him to the point where she is blinded by what he has done. P.S. I have talked to my mom about this and she said she knows he has hurt me. For some reason, I am just disgusted by him. I don't want to be near him, see him, or even talk to him. He is also a manipulator. He would come over to the house and lay down on the bed and tell my mom to cook for him and she would do it. He always uses the fact that he's sick to get out of things. For example, he forgot my birthday and has never given me a birthday gift or present. I never, I've never celebrated Christmas with him. But now he wants me to give him a second chance for he can be a good dad. Oh, so he can be a good dad. I know that he's my father, but it's like you don't have the right to be called a dad because you never acted like one. He has two nieces that he raised because his sister died. He treated them like his own kids. But when it came to me, it was like I was invisible. Mm, that's not good. I don't know if I'm being selfish or something to not want him in my life, but how can I let go of what he has put me through? Lying to me over and over again. I can't let that go. I don't hate him because you can't hate someone you don't care about. And I, ooh. Damn. Ooh. ooh. This situation she's has made, she's 14. Wow. Ain't no man ever going to be able to do her wrong. Okay. okay. You going to be good, baby. Uh, this situation has made me always have a wall up because I'm scared to let people in. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I hope you're able to give me some advice. Yeah. She definitely sounds older than 14. Mm hmm. She sounds like she could give her mom some good advice. She's wise. Yeah, she's very wise. You're a wise young lady. Yep. And I don't think she should force a relationship that she don't want. Uh uh. You know, especially if he's already disappointed her time and time again. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone, sir. Mm hmm. Okay? Now, she if I get older sir. and care to have something with you, I'll let you know. Mm hmm. You know? I don't know. I feel like people. Don't really realize what they're doing. They're just so selfish with their time. And with whatever they're doing in their life, they're just so selfish. Like, you're not thinking about how the stuff you're doing is going to affect your kids or whatever. Yeah. And now that you're ready. Yeah. You're ready. I'm 14. If I'm you're not really a, ready. And 14, if you're really ready. And then one thing I don't like, and I'm not saying, I'm not... I'm not saying this about all parents. I don't know what that man has gone through or what he thinks or how he feels or why he did anything he did. Yeah. But... True. I don't like when parents are absent from their child's life and then decide when their kid is a teenager, when they're easier to, to deal with in, in, a, right. in a sense, mm -hmm. when they're easier to deal with, you want to have a relationship with them. You didn't want to have a relationship with me when I was five years old and you needed to make clean up behind me and you know, you needed to stay home on the weekends because you couldn't go out because you had a kid. I mean, at 14, you can do anything with a 14 year old child at this point. You can go out and leave the kid at home and you know, you can do things. So. In a sense, it's easier to have a teen. I, I don't like that, but I also don't want to give her advice that is wrong. I mean, I, I can't even say uh, our opinion is not wrong. Our opinion is our opinion, you know. Right. So <clears throat> I think that if you don't feel anything for him, then you having him in your life is just kind of you being fake. I think she has built up a wall against him to protect herself like we all do when we get hurt. Mm -hmm. so she probably feels like she doesn't have any feelings for him and maybe she really doesn't but I think she could get him back if they started building a relationship you mm -hmm. know yeah but yeah she's cut that shit off because she's like you're not about to hurt me yeah you know what I'm saying that, that's what everybody does that's true you know <clears throat> um, I think on his part he needs to if he really wants to be a father you need to keep trying to be one even if she says no and that that I think will help her to start trusting you more because he, she's like okay He's not giving up. He really wants to be, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. for her, I don't think I would, I think I'll make him suffer and crawl, big until I felt like I, you know what I'm saying? I'm right. not giving in because you already had plenty of chances, but I don't think he should just be like, oh, well, she don't want me in her life, so bye. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's, yeah. Yeah, I agree. What, well, I'll say this. What I would do, I wouldn't deal with him. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't deal with him because I feel like you already hurt me. I'm not about to let you hurt me again. So, and then if you if you really don't have feelings for this person, you just really don't. There's been a person in my life that I gave chances in my own way 
for certain things and I finally got to a point and it hurt but I finally got to a point where I didn't care anymore and I don't care anymore and that's it. The only thing I care about is if the person passes away. Anything else, I ain't really tripping. I hope you stay healthy, but I ain't fucking with you, you know? And she might feel like that way about her dad. Okay, I love it. But she said she can't hate a person she don't even care about. Right. She really has shut her feelings off towards yeah. Don't let that shut your feelings off towards other people, though, because not everybody is like your dad. Just make sure if you run into somebody that shows you, hey, I'm like your daddy, stay away from them. If you run into a man or a friend or anybody or a family member who lies to you and and is not who's shown you the pattern that your father has shown you that's when you build that wall up but you can't do that with everybody because then you're going to be unhappy you ain't gonna have no no you build up a wall then the person no one's ever going to be able to get close to you and you're not ever going to be able to get close to them so you're not going to build any friendships or any thing people need we need it's nice to have people that's true it's nice to have people that you care about and they care about you right. it don't have to be your daddy though exactly give people a chance before you automatically not trust them. Mm -hmm. Give them a chance, and then when they show you that they are not worth your time, don't deal with them. Yeah, that's but right. you have to be open mm -hmm. in order to build good relationships in your life. And also, if you care about somebody, if you care about them, it's also okay to tell them what they're doing wrong as far as you're mm -hmm. concerned. Like, you like this person, and it's like, wait a minute, I need you to. Not that you want a person to be exact who you want them to be, but you need to tell them what bothers me in our relationship is this. This 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 bothers me in our relationship. I ain't really gonna be able to fuck with you no more. And right. I'm not just talking about a relationship, I'm talking about friends and all that and family. Mm -hmm. If you continue to do these things because I feel disrespected or I feel lied to or whatever. Absolutely. And if they can't change that, then it's like, all right, bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. That's you it. ain't about to hurt me. But you I think you're gonna be good. I just the way you talking, you got it, but be op be op a little bit open to new people, I say. That that would be my only advice to you. Other than that, follow your feelings and your heart as far as your dad is concerned. Do what you feel. I right. think that you should be honest with him. I think yeah. that you, if nothing else, mm -hmm. don't just ignore him. Tell him, look, I don't feel like I have any feelings for you. He deserves to hear it. He, he does. deserves to hear he it. He does. Because maybe that's going to make him wake up and say, oh, shit, let me do, you know. Or People be thinking you can do kids any kind of way. We remember, humans remember stuff, especially when they are younger. Because mm -hmm. those things really affect you, mm -hmm. you know. You can't do anything to no kids. Nope. <laughs> I think you you gonna come back whenever you feel like it. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oh, sorry, I think I cut you off. It's okay. It's okay. So talk right. to him. Tell him how you feel, and he's either gonna do one or two things. He's gonna listen to what you say, and he's gonna try. He's gonna try harder, or he's going to go back and be exactly who the hell he was, if that's who he is. And he's gonna be like, okay, she ain't fucking with me. I ain't fucking with her. Right. You know, he's gonna do one or two, and uh, it's it's no loss to you either way. Boom. He's already gone. So, all right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Set your notifications so to all, so you'll be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, premieres. Until next time, only your vibes.